Hello friends you are all welcome to human bee in this video we are going to discuss about wrist instability in the previous videos we discussed about the wrist ligaments and we know in the volar aspect of the wrist there is two intrinsic ligament first ligament is scaphoelunate ligament this scaphoelunate ligament connects scaphoid and lunate and second intrinsic ligament is luno trochanter ligament this ligament connects lunate and trochanterum we also discussed intercalated segment intercalated segment is the middle segment of a three segment linkage and here you can see three seg segments first segment is radius and the second segment is proximal carpal row third segment is distal carpal row here the proximal carpal row act as intercalated segment we already discussed intercalated segment is the middle segment of a three segment linkage so here the proximal carpal row act as intercalated segment in the next figure you can see three segments and when a compressive force is acting on this three segments you can see the middle segment move into opposite direction that is the intercalated segment move into opposite direction first and third segment will move into one direction and the intercalated segment move into opposite direction in wrist the stabilization is provided by the ligaments that means the this unnecessary movements are prevented by ligaments injury to this ligaments remove the stabilization of carpal bonds for example when scaphoelunate ligament is injured we already discussed what is scaphoelunate ligament it is the ligament connecting scaphoid and lunate the scaphoid collapses into flexion or we can say scaphoid move forwards lunate and trochanterum extend that is lunate and trochanterum move backwards and distal carpals flex in this figure you can see scaphoid flex lunate extend and distal carpal row flex this zigzag pattern of these segments that is scaphoid lunate trochanterum and distal carpal row is known as intercalated segment instability so this zigzag movement of this segments is known as intercalated segment instability when lunate assumes an extended posture we already discussed the scaphoid move forwards and lunate and trochanterum move backwards so when lunate assumes an extended posture the presentation is referred as dorsal intercalated segment instability or dc with subluxation of the scaphoid the contact between radius and scaphoid decreases and it may result in degenerative changes at radio scaphoid joint so the contact area between scaphoid and radius decreases and that may lead to degenerative changes at the radio scaphoid joint already discussed when scaphoelunate ligament is injured scaphoid move into flexion lunate and trochanterum move into extension this will results a gap between scaphoid and lunate and this is known as terry thomas sign terry thomas was an english comedian and character actor and you can correlate the scaphoelunate instability with terry thomas face if there is a gap formed between scaphoid and lunate is known as terry thomas sign the capitate may migrate into the gap between flexed scaphoid and extended lunate it is known as scaphoelunate advanced collapse or slack wrist you can see that between scaphoid and lunate there is a gap formed and the capitate migrate into the gap between scaphoid and lunate and this is known as scaphoelunate advanced collapse or slack wrist when the ligament connecting lunate and trochanterum is injured that is luno trochanter ligament is injured the lunate and scaphoid move into flexion or we can say like lunate and scaphoid move forwards trochanterum and distal carpal row extend that is trochanterum and distal carpal row move backwards it is known as volar intercalated segment instability or vc the problems of vc and dc shows the importance of wrist stabilization in wrist function we already discussed 
wrist stabilization is mainly provided by the wrist ligaments so we can identify that wrist ligaments are very much important for the wrist function in the next video we will discuss the dorsal and volar musculature of wrist complex thank you so much